Stein is a ranger at the Kapama Lodge, one of the many game reserves in the area. You want to see some giraffe? There? Do we want to see giraffe? Yes. That's a small one. No, it's not, is it? Well, how, how that's the that mother. Be? No, that's the mother, mother and that's the baby. Be. This may all look wild, but the parks are actually manufactured habitats, which are home to all manner of wildlife. One of the most popular animals among tourists is, of course, the mighty elephant. How can he spot them? There's, I can't see a thing. Eagle eyes. There they are. Ah, yes, yes, yes. I can see the white of a tusk. Can we just give him a little bit of time? Yeah, so if we just keep quiet, sit still, maybe they'll come to us. So if we're very lucky, they will go straight across the side. They're crossing, they're crossing the road just here. What an amazing sight. Two, four, six. Seven of them, the big one there, keeping an eye on, on us. And they're just pushing through the bush. It it's really is an incredible sight. But there's a major problem in South Africa. There are simply too many elephants. The numbers are increasing now because of uh, the huge attempts to um, save the elephant. But now we are at a stage where the numbers are very, very high. What, and too high? Are, uh, slightly too high, yes and they, they need to manage the elephants now. Why is there a problem if there's too many elephants? Surely they were, I mean, I'm presuming they're one of the great draws for, for tourists. That's why tourists want to come here, isn't it? Yes, they are, but they are causing a lot of damage to the ecosystem. Damage like this removes the habitats of smaller animals, threatening the survival of many other species. But while the problem is a serious one, it's proved extremely difficult to limit the elephant population. So plans have been drawn up to cull large numbers of elephants by shooting them. It's hugely controversial, and the government is worried that if culling happens, tourists might stay away. But how many elephants are they talking about culling? Do you happen to know? Well, they say in Kruger National Park they need to cull about 2,000 elephants for a start. 2,000? 2, 2,000 elephants. The Kruger National Park, the largest and most prestigious game reserve in South Africa, told us the elephant issue is currently so sensitive, they simply didn't want to discuss it with us. The idea of culling the elephant seems to be a big debate at the moment, but no, no final decision has been taken, is there? No, no final decision has been taken. Um, every, time, every, every time they decide to cull, there's groups that come in and they stop the culling. You're with Kapama Reserve and Lodge. What's, the, what's their position on, on this whole idea of culling the elephants? Kapama's against the culling of elephants. They would rather support different ways in controlling elephant populations. The view of the Kapama Lodge is shared by many of the game reserves in the area. But not everyone agrees. Just 10 miles down the road is the Maholoholo Wildlife Sanctuary. How old is your rhino? Run by Brian Jones, himself a former ranger. Mm. Right, keep right. down there, you, you can. No, you. I'm going to hide behind you. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Look at this. Is it okay to touch? Yes, you could strike him. He, he's a bit thick skinned, but that's fine. He's a bit thick skinned. Skin, isn't isn't he? Watch him, how you're going to put his tail up now, because he's been scratched. What have you got in your hand there? You've got a bit of metal that you're sharp, using to actually hand, make him feel your it. Your hand's a bit soft. He needs something rough. You are, you are very cute. You're ugly as hell, but you're really cute. I beg your cute. pardon. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he's going to go. Oh. <laughs> now look at that. Come you look at the you've just, on the bottom here. You've just seduced him. He's rolled over. We don't use drugs here. We just uh, charm them. What an amazing creature. OK. Brian has an extraordinary way with his animals, and he holds clear views on how Africa's wildlife should be managed. Good boy. Oh, now he's going to get me at the gate here. Yeah? I love big boy. I love big. Don't look too close, you'll get cross. OK. I love oh, big boy. Oh, oh, big boy. Oh, 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 oh,
big boy. Oh, big boy. You're too close, unfortunately. He doesn't like it. Him and I, we sit together, we talk together, lug each other, no, but as soon as people come near, then he gets, he, it's called diverted aggression. Can you tell me a little bit about the, the elephants in the Kruger? Because we've, we're hearing a lot about the threat of culling. What's your view on that? Do you think they're going to have to cull? Or I you... think that's a misnomer, the threat of culling. To me, it's common sense. We have to cull. Yeah. To be really that's honest with you, all these little game parks with fences around, inevitably in the end, is going to do more harm than what cattle have done. Because the guys have spent millions on buying the place, millions of putting the fence, putting the infrastructure up. Now he's got to get tourists to pay back. And now he's got to have animals to, have to, to, to show the tourists. So he overstocks. And they're doing just as much harm. That's a sad point. They're doing just as much harm. It was once said Kruger Park got the biggest diversity of mammals in the world. But it's going to come to an end. Of course, already Samanga monkey's gone, brown hyena's gone. We're looking at Oraby, Sable, Roan. Roan sitting at 30 animals left in the park where we had thousands. It's history. Woo! You'd make a good cricket team. Woo! We left South Africa behind and headed east to neighbouring Mozambique, a country of 21 million people still recovering from the devastating long-term effects of war. This is Mickey. Hello, Mickey. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> Good to meet you. Thank you very Welcome much. Welcome to indeed. Mozambique. Thank you. And you're going to be you're going to be taking us across the country. Yeah, I'll take you around. Man. I'm quite excited about coming to Mozambique. It's a beautiful country. So here we go. We're crossing. We're crossing into Mozambique. We've gone from South Africa, which is really perhaps the richest, certainly one of the richest countries in Africa, into Mozambique, which is uh, which is one of the poorest. contrast with South Africa could barely have been more stark. This side of the border is designated a national park, but there wasn't a giraffe or hippo in sight. Between 1975 and 1992, a vicious conflict raged through Mozambique. 17 years of fighting ravaged the country. Hundreds of thousands lost their lives and most of the wildlife was simply killed for food. And so to protect it, they think, oh, Strangely enough, what we did find dotted about this national park were people. Dowry payment going on. Dowry payment. Mm. Would they mind if we went over to have a look? Would them do like they want to they think it's a They seem very happy with that idea. Yeah. What are they saying, Jabba B? I'm drunk. They're saying I'm drunk. When? Have they all been on the source? The Mozambican authorities and some conservationists think these villages are a problem. New plans to restock the park with wildlife and draw in foreign visitors mean they now face eviction. Have you been told that you have to move out of the park and, and what, do you, what do you feel about this? They said we were going to move. We promised to do everything to replace the things we have here, the houses and animal shelters. All these promises are just lies. We accepted it because we respect the government, but we're not moving. It's a slightly chaotic situation here, but we have been talking to some of the village elders, and what they're saying is that they've been told they have to leave the park, and they've been promised homes outside the park. But the homes that they've been offered at the moment are too small for them. They're just not prepared to move out until that they know these houses have been built and they're a decent size. And unless that happens, they say they're not, they're not going to go. The dilemma here is the same one you find all across Africa. How to attract tourists by developing wildlife without trampling all over the locals. The 
a conflict here followed independence from Portugal in 1975. The Marxist government fought right-wing rebels who were backed by the neighboring South African regime, angry at Mozambique's opposition to apartheid. Although the war ended more than 15 years ago, large parts of the country are still scarred with landmines laid during the conflict. A bit wary of these. We went to see a Belgian-based organization which is helping to clear them in a rather novel way. My God, look at the size of them. This is Kaniga. It's one of the <laughs> mine detector rats. She's, this is a she. Yeah, she. She, this is a she. She is huge. Mine is a ranger at the Kapama Lodge, one of the many game reserves in the area. You want to what see some giraffe? Do we want to see giraffe? Yes. That's a small one. No, it's not, is it? Well, how, how that's the mother. Happen? No, that's the mother. mother and that's the baby there. This may all look wild, but the parks are actually manufactured. Now we are at a stage where the numbers are very, very high. What, and too high? Are, uh, slightly too high, yes. And they, they need to manage the elephants now. Why is there a problem if there's too many elephants? Surely they're, I mean, I'm presuming they're one of the great draws for, for tourists. That's why tourists want to come here, isn't it? Yes, they are, but they are causing a lot of damage to the habitats, which are home to all manner of wildlife. One of the most popular animals among tourists is, of course, the mighty elephant. How can he spot them? There's, I can't see a thing. Eagle eyes. There they are. Ah, yes, yes, yes. I can see the white of a tusk. Just give him a little bit of time. Yeah, so if we just keep quiet, sit still, maybe they'll come to us. So if we are very lucky, they will go straight across the side. They're crossing, they're crossing the road just here. What an amazing sight. Two, four, six. Seven of them, the big one there, keeping an eye on us. And they're just pushing through the bush. It's, it really is an incredible sight. But there's a major problem in South Africa. There are simply too many elephants. The numbers are increasing now because of uh, the huge attempts to um, save the elephant. But now